What's up, fight fans? Heat the Muscle Boots here for MMAMayhemRadio.com. We are here at the Metroplex in Atlanta, Georgia. ROC and Mr. ROC himself. As you can see by his haircut, Mr. Joe, the hitman, Elmore, just got done with 15 minutes of brutalness. Came out with a split decision. How you feeling right now, Joe? Man, uh, I'm feeling good. You know, uh, again, uh, uh, being an underdog on the fight, just proving that I'm never the underdog for real. Uh, of course, man, I was going for that fight of the night. I feel we got it. First time we made it out of the uh, third round all night long. Uh, taking that fight of the night honors with the tough opponent, Craig, man, I'm feeling good. All right, man. You you came out there in that first round. You seemed to outstrike Craig, man. You that first round it seemed like you did kind of take it. You feel the same way? Uh, yeah, man. I feel that uh, I, I I I was slow, but I definitely landed more strikes, some heavier strikes. I knew he was going to want that takedown. Uh, I was a little bit tight in my strikes, but I was trying that one shot wonder. I knew if I threw left hooks and uppercuts. He couldn't get inside on that single leg, and that was the game plan was just to keep him off me, keep him at distance, and put those hands on him. All right, man, I, we noticed you got took down quite a few times, but you popped right back up like a springs, man. How did you just, you just, you didn't let that takedown keep you down for long? Man, that, the mat was slippery, you know. He's a strong, bigger guy. He took me down. I did what I had to do. I put my back on the cage for hours at X3. And I had bigger, stronger guys trying to take me down. And I did the same thing. Hop right back up on my feet, throw some elbows, circle out with some uppercuts, keep the fight going. Those uppercuts are brutal, man. In the second round, we noticed you started getting the groove with your leg kicks. By the third, it was leg kick city, man. You yeah, just my, came out there, you found your groove, and, and that was it, man. My coach in the second round, you know, he was circling out. He was afraid of my left hook. You know, all I got to do is land it one time. Uh, I seen him circling in. My coach seen it better. Mm. I, I see it a few times, and I started timing it. I got right on that knee and was trying to take that leg out so he couldn't stand on it. I feel that that's what won the fight, and that's where I took my lead. All right, well, we understand that uh, MMA Mayhem Radio that you're a big family man, and uh, and also you uh, you you fought for the XFC, you fought for Bellator. What's next for the Hitman? Man, whoever is going to get me to go and mainline one of the shows, uh, whoever's the best out there. This guy was the ISKA uh, Insider MMA Fighter of the Year last year. I want somebody tougher. I want somebody they say I can't beat, and I fight for whoever they put me against them. That's what's up, man. Before we let you go, do you have any sponsors or shout-outs or anything? Yeah, I would like to thank uh, uh, Aggressive MMA, uh, X3 Sports, Born to Bang, uh, Training Mask, uh, uh, all my fans and friends and family, Maggie Beth, my girlfriend, she's my manager, my rock, she holds it all together so I can come out here and fight for my fans. Uh, I, I love you guys. Thanks for all the support, everybody. All right, man. Well, that's what's up. Don't forget to follow us at MMA Mayhem Radio on Twitter. And if you don't, we'll get the hitman to find you. Joe Hitman's coming up. for you, baby. And he'll hit you in the face.